Hi, welcome to Better Chess Training. In today's video, we're going to use chess base to make text annotations to help improve our chess study. The basic strategy is that we're going to create simple text tags and add them to positions in our games, either our own games or uh, maybe master games that we study. And by using these tags, we're going to search the database for specific positions to study and review. In essence, you're going to be creating your own searchable book for tactics, strategies, and openings that you play. So first I'm going to show you how to add text annotations to your game. Here I am in a uh, chess-based database. Uh, this is a database of the games I played in 2014. So I will click on the game and it pops up here and um, you can see I've already added some annotations but uh, I will show you how to do this and let's just pick a position here um, right here and for example um, to add an annotation you would right click on the move and then you, there's a whole bunch of annotations we can go into but I'll go into those uh, maybe in another video but to add a text annotation you would just click on text after move I typically put it uh, after the move and here uh, we the general idea would be to add a simple uh, text uh, tag uh, you could say to notify you of uh, what's going on uh, let's say in this case I just want to uh, make a note to analyze this later. So I will just type analyze this position. Click OK and now you can see uh, the uh, annotation in the game. Always make sure to save your work and I've already saved this before so I'm just going to replace which basically uh, saves it uh, over the previous copy. Click OK and that is how you add a text annotation to your game. Okay, now that you know how to add text annotations to your game, uh, I'm going to show you how to search for it. And we're going to use the uh, filter function here. In the first step is to go to the edit menu, go down to filter games. Of course you can use this to search uh, by player, um, different specific positions but for today's video we're just going to focus on searching for specific annotations. So we're going to click on the annotations tab and the text that we're going to do is uh, we'll search out the one we just made, analyze. By the way I also sometimes <laughs> spell analyze uh, with an S so I'm going to search for both words and click OK. I notice I'm only searching for the annotations here. It doesn't matter the game data, the position. Those are other functions that we'll explore in future videos. But I'm just going to uh, search for the specific annotation. And we can see uh, six games pop up including uh, the one that uh, we just talked about. So I'm going to click on that to open it up and uh, you can see that it usually shows you a couple positions nearby where you uh, typed in the word um, here so you can see that the analyze is right here okay uh, let me just show you a couple other examples of how to do this let's go back to filter games and uh, I'm gonna show you uh, for example let's say one of my tags is endgame so for example I may be wanting to study uh, end games in my in my games in a particular day so I'm going to put in endgame click and you can see several games here uh, where I put the uh, tag endgame uh, text annotation within the game. Uh, let me just give you one more example of how this can be used. Outpost. For example, uh, I like to put in uh, strategic themes. And we can see that I've done it three times in the games. I'm going to click on uh, one just to show you and you can see here the words uh, night outpost and in this particular position uh, I must be exploring a uh, move that sets up a night outpost. So that is how you use the uh, filter function of uh, chess base to search for your tags. 
There are several ways to use this tool. You can tag tactical and strategic motifs and themes, different phases of the game, various opening ideas, as well as follow-up items for analysis and questions you may have. I think this is very important because as we study our games and study master games, we notice all of these things happening in our games, but sometimes we don't fully understand it all at that time when we're studying it. So that's when it's a good chance to ask a question. You know, why does does this person move this piece here? Or what is the purpose behind this pawn break? And as you study other games and as you play, you'll begin to answer these questions. You can go back using the search function like we discussed and fill in those answers. And I really think this is one of the ways that we improve our chess knowledge by revising our old knowledge with our experience and future study. In summary, I think that chess base is a very useful tool for chess players. It's one of the main uh, tools I use, including storing my games, studying my games, and my openings. By using the uh, text annotations to tag specific themes and motifs that you want to study later, uh, and using the search function to, to uh, find those at a future point, you'll be able to optimize your training and study essentially creating a searchable book that's customized to your needs. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, please like and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to get updates for new videos coming up. Also, if you haven't already heard it, I did a very interesting interview with international master Christoph Zielecki from the Chess Explain YouTube channel. He has a lot of insights and be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and as always, I wish you better chess.